The next trait we're going to look at is called edge ref, and this one is kind of interesting because it really gets into the uh, the like what happens in Rust on the on the on the back end when you're doing something, and how like types work together. And this um, edge ref is like a um, you use it to quickly convert from one type to another. And uh, the best way to uh, explain how this works is to uh, is to look at strings and stirs because they uh, let's look at strings here and you can see um, if you look at the trait implementation we yeah. have some edge wraps here for uh, for string so string can be uh, we have edge wrap u8 uh, and that's when you look at the bytes of a string we saw that once. Uh, or a stir, that's a different kind of, that's for like operating system stirs. We don't uh, look at that later uh, once, I think. And then as ref stir. And then um, over here, if you look at the primitive type stir, you can see that it also takes uh, as ref stir. So that is to uh, convert it to, uh, to uh, it just gives back uh, cell. And so uh, with that, Here's what we can do. Uh, so let's imagine, um, I'll show you with an example. So let's imagine we want to uh, we want to print something and uh, no, input uh, T and we want to print that. And so there's uh, yeah, that. And of course this is not going to work yet. Don't forget this to make it generic because uh, you know we have to say T should implement display or whatever. But uh, also, let's imagine that we don't want to print uh, numbers. We only want to uh, we only want to print uh, strings or stirs, and we don't want to say input equals string because maybe we want stirs, and we don't want to say input equals stir because we also want to take strings. So can we take both? And the answer is yes. And the way we do that is we use edge ref because uh, both of them implement edge ref and so we can take uh, let's see, we're to uh, bring it in then we convert edge ref and you can see this also gives you, a, you an idea that it's uh, converting things and then uh, we are going to uh, take, uh, take a t and we're going to say edge ref plus display and this is not going to work yet and I'll show you why so let's see, print here, what's the name? Print it and screen print it. Uh, okay. So this is still not work. And uh, of course, we're going to bring it this way. Let's, uh, where are you? There you are. That's not what I wanted to show you, but let's uh, okay. bring in display. We just got to refill my display. Try once more. And you can see it says expected one type argument. And that's because uh, you'll remember that when you see the, uh, the implementation here, you know, what kind of as ref are you talking about? Uh, and we want something that converts to as ref stir. So uh, we put that there. So this says take anything that has uh, like this as ref stir and can display. And I'll show you uh, the, the signature for as ref as well. Uh, the required function is this. Oh, sorry, not that. Um, as ref itself. So here is the trait, uh, pub trait as ref, and here it has the uh, the generic type that it's going to take, and that's why you need to uh, specify, you know, what's uh, what it's going to give you. And by the way, this uh, question mark size means maybe it's not size, and that means that's why you can uh, you can take stir because a stir is not size. It's uh, you know, it can be any sort of size, and uh, so it's different from like a string or something on the stack or something on the heap, I mean. So now this should work. And there you go. Please print this. And uh, it prints it out for us. So that is a, you know, a quick introduction to Ezref and Ezref. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot more ways that it's used. Um, but you can, um, Actually, I want to show you one more thing. Let's go back to string. Just to show you some uh, more examples of how the, uh, the function signatures look.
if we go to uh, image ref down here, you can see in the source here, there's a, uh, this is how it's implemented every time. You uh, edge ref stir for string, and this gives uh, a reference to, uh, to self. Whereas uh, if you have edge ref uh, array of, uh, of U8, then, um, then it's, uh, the user just edge, edge bytes to do it. So uh, you know that that's why you have to implement it yourself because um, you know you say implement uh, edge ref or or let's say you know whatever your type is modern type and then uh, you do the uh, the function uh, edge ref and then you uh, you tell it what kind of uh, edge ref and then you put like you know stir or you know what kind of uh, what kind of type you want to return. So that's how you uh, implement it yourself. But uh, the most uh, the most interesting thing in the beginning is Ezra stir lets you take strings and stirs at the same time. So uh, if, uh, if this was a lot, just remember Ezra will let you print both strings and stirs.